Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live, a view of our home of economy camera. This in Grand Forks, we do see an increase in clouds. Those clouds a chance of producing and bringing some showers and thunder showers into the area as we go through the overnight hours. But for right now, things very quiet. We're in the 70s here in the FM area 75 at Hector at the top of the hour. Very comfortable humidity levels and it's this dry air that has been allowing us to cool off very comfortably overnight as well. Winds have been more southerly throughout the day. Nothing too strong under 10 miles per hour right now. A look at temperatures across the region, mid and upper 70s across the eastern third of North Dakota. No 80 degree readings as of the latest, but we did get off a close in Jamestown at 79. We have low to mid 70s across much of Lakes Country, but get up towards Lake of the Woods. We have some upper 70s up there for Bedette, for Roseau, and for the Bemidji area as well. We have a few rumbles of thunder spiraling its way through South Dakota, moving to the south and east. But this is the area we're watching right here. Another unsettled area of weather that is working its way through Saskatchewan. That drifting south and east as well. Here is what's left of uh, the Hurricane ECAS as it makes its way rapidly north through upstate New York. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast shows we have temperatures that will be pleasant all evening. Clear skies in Minnesota, but we will have increasing clouds in the eastern third of North Dakota. Most of us will stay dry. I can't rule out a renegade sprinkle, but nothing uh, strong or potent as we go through the evening. It's overnight when that little weather wiggle works its way out of Saskatchewan. That's all fun to say. Pushes into the Devil's Lake Basin as we head to bed tonight. We will have some thunder. I don't anticipate widespread severe storms as we go through the overnight hours, but you may be awakened by that thunder. Notice that its direction of movement will be south and easterly. Some of our far northern counties may see very little in the way of showers and thunder showers as we go through our Wednesday morning. But Fargo, Valley City, the Highway 200 and two corridors will all see a risk of some thunder showers during the overnight hours. And in fact, many of us here in the Red River Valley will start our day with those showers. Temperatures near 60. Those will continue to drift south and east along the Interstate 94 and Highway 10 corridor point south. If you're north of that, Things at least at this time are looking to be dry. We will see temperatures push up to near 70 degrees. This little weather wiggle has this counterclockwise circulation around it. So many of us will see an east or southeast flow throughout the day. And most of us will see the rain end by around one. A few of us will have it lingering until about four. And then the bestest time of the day is going to happen as you get off of work and head home for the evening. The clouds will be on the decrease. Again, we cannot rule out a popcorn shower or thunder shower here or there. But by and large, we should all be quieting down in the dinner hour and beyond us with a quiet Wednesday evening heading into your Thursday. So rain showers and a few rumbles of thunder in the early hours in Fargo. I think we are done with all of that by the midday hour in Fargo as it moves into central Minnesota. Temperatures will have a chance to climb right back into the mid 70s for your afternoon. And again, as mentioned and advertised the best time of the day, the dinner hour. Here's a look at your hometown planner. Temperatures 75 uh, degrees or so for most. We will be a little cooler off to the south and east where the showers have a better chance of lingering a few hours longer. Take a look at this shot of the moon shared by Melissa Smith. Beautiful full moon last night from Twin Valleys view. And here is another view from Roseau. Thanks so much, Jeanette, for sharing your photo there. Here's a look at the planning forecast and update. We have added Sunday now to the risk for severe weather. After a quiet Thursday, we start warming up. Heat and humidity build back into the region and the weekend does have a chance at showers and storms each day. Late Friday night, uh, Saturday, the storm chances look to be in the far south. Many of us stay dry. And then on Sunday, some more scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. It's not going to storm all weekend everywhere. It's not going to be severe all weekend and everywhere. Just have a plan and know that if storms form in that hot and humid fuel, that we could have some strong ones. It cools off a pinch, Andrea, into early next week. Make sure you download the Valley News Live weather app. We'll keep you ahead of those storms all weekend long. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Hutch.